Move over for breeze. Here's how to make your own delightfully natural air freshener. So you've got a funny smell and want some clean vibes? You're probably familiar with these conventional aerosols. Corporations will tell you that you need to spray this shit all over your house. You'll need a disposable aerosol can with a picture of a field of flowers on it. When what's really happening is the field of flowers is dead and because the aerosol released so much greenhouse gases that it caused the earth to heat up and create a drought that caused those flowers to die. The manufacture of one aerosol can like this causes 1.64 kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalents to be released into the atmosphere. Now that would be a sphere about 120 centimeters high that would be about this big. And they can be toxic. The Natural Resource Defense Council had this to say about them. The NRDC recently tested 14 air fresheners and found that 12 contain phthalates, chemicals that can cause hormonal abnormalities, birth defects, and reproductive problems. Even air fresheners marked as all natural or unscented contain the hazardous chemicals. In addition to phthalates, air fresheners may contain allergens and volatile organic compounds, as well as cancer-causing chemicals such as benzene and formaldehyde. There is no reason to spray petrochemical crap all over the place or use any disposable packaging when there is a ridiculously simple way to make a much higher quality air freshener ourselves. But you might ask, does it work? Or does it smell like patchouli? I do not want to smell like patchouli, okay? Some of us have issues with patchouli, okay? It's a thing, right? It's a, it's a thing. My name's Katie, I'm an environmental engineer and a zero waste evangelist. I'll show you how to create a beautifully fresh aroma in like no steps because it's that easy. You will need three things. Some dark spray bottles, your essential oils of choice and some distilled water. Well, like any water, really, like tap water is fine. Some great oils to get started with are lavender and lemon oil. I also really like eucalyptus, you know, like koalas and stuff. Peppermint and grapefruit oil. All these are inexpensive and should please any olfactory sensibilities. You may even be able to get refills from your local food co-op so you can keep reusing these little brown bottles. To make our delightfully simple air freshener, we simply get a few drops of essential oils and put them in our dark glass bottle and then fill the rest up with water. So I'm going to make a mix of lemongrass, one, two, three, four, five, some bergamot, my favorite, one, two, three, four, five. I might just add a little bit of peppermint. Now we fill the bottle up with some water, shake her up. Then when a smell comes towards me, I shake the bottle and I'm like, Fucha, Fucha! Oh, I get it with the spray. Fucha, got you. Fucha, Fucha. Essential oils are good for well-being also. Scientific studies have shown that lavender oil has a positive effect on relaxation and sleep quality, whilst clary sage oil was found to help lift feelings of happiness. Some air fresheners will claim to kill bacteria like they have some sort of special superpower, but really lavender oil, tea tree and eucalyptus are also powerful antiseptic agents. There is really no magic to conventional air fresheners that you can't create yourself. Even the all natural air fresheners, like the one I've got here, are the exact same recipe that I've shown here. Oh look, wow, it's made from 100% pure essential oil. Hey, you know what else is made from 100% pure essential oils? Essential oils! And all they are selling you is some essential oils mixed with water or aerosol and some disposable packaging with a bit of branding. So why not just get the essential oils and mix them with water like we're doing here. I bought this kit of 12 dark glass bottles for about $10 on Amazon. And so I can have a range of different scents to choose from, like bergamot and eucalyptus, or peppermint grapefruit, or sandalwood lemongrass. There is no limit to the bouquet of sensory indulgences that you can create. Or to keep it simple, you can just use one spray bottle of your favorite blend. Just one oil by itself, like plain lemon or plain peppermint, still smells beautiful and will mask those serious odors like the ones 
in the bathroom. So you may also enjoy aromatherapy diffusers. I got this one from a Japanese store called Muji in San Francisco and it is really one of my most loved items. It has a light in it, you just pour a little bit of water into them, put about an eyedropper of oil in it, the mist of aroma cascades out into your room. There are a range of these type of diffusers that you can purchase online, but these simple spray bottles also work just great if you don't want to go and purchase another appliance. Your zero waste action is to quit purchasing plastic spray or aerosol air fresheners and try these simple alternatives that use only water and essential oils. This simple zero waste action is highly rewarding. As you use less conventional products, you'll find that your sense of smell becomes more sensitive. It's very common for people going zero waste to start feeling more sensitive to conventional chemicals. This is a healthy and natural process of revealing the true, authentic biochemical you. Please share this video with anyone you see fuming up their life with aerosols like this. And don't forget to subscribe to the Detrash YouTube channel for more zero waste tips so we can detrash the world. Thanks for watching. If you take on any of these zero waste actions or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has. Check us out on Patreon and if you love these videos, please consider contributing a couple of dollars a month to help us detrash the world. If you want more zero waste tips, get a hold of the Detrashed Manual. It's called Detrash Your Life in 90 Days. You can download it from the Detrashed Facebook page or get it from Amazon on Kindle. Flowers are beautiful. Mm. Oh, I love nature.